In Coimbra, there is very strong oral history that Lady Emma Hamilton and Admiral Horatio Nelson resided in a house on Coimbra High Street. Circumstantial evidence also shows that throughout the summer of 1801, Nelson was often only two and a half miles away at Sheness. Local people tell us that Nelson and Emma lived in a house close to Queenborough Church where they attended services. In February 1793, France declared war on England and Nelson was given command of the 64-gun Agamemnon, joining it at Sheness. Later that year, Emma would meet Nelson for the first time when he was sent to Naples. Nelson was a dashing young captain with great expectations. He still had both eyes and both arms. It would be a further five years before they would meet again. On the 1st of August 1798, Nelson was victorious over the French fleet at the Battle of the Nile, during which Nelson was wounded in the head by shrapnel. Nelson returned to Naples and stayed with Sir William Hamilton and Lady Emma Hamilton. Emma nursed Nelson back to health. Emma admired Nelson. She was beautiful, alluring, entertaining and amusing. He fell in love with her. Sir William Hamilton knew about their affair but accepted it and remained close friends with Nelson until his death. Emma could dance and sing both classic and comedy songs. She was an accomplished actress and was famous for her muses, where she would dress up, often in very little, and pose for her guests in scenes from mythology. Shortly after returning to England, following his victory at the Battle of Copenhagen, Nelson received detailed instructions from the Admiralty for the defence of England. He immediately travelled to Sheness, where he joined the frigate Unite. He was in command of 16 frigates and many smaller gunboats and bomb vessels. Napoleon, as Hitler would do 139 years later, was gathering landing barges at Boulogne for the invasion of England. Nelson attacked and destroyed many of them. After each raid, it is believed he returned to Coimbra and to Emma. Born the daughter of a blacksmith, Emma would go down in history as a woman who captured the heart of England's greatest naval hero, Nelson.